I'm just running along the boundary of these tea bushes here. That bounder, oh, I'm on a boundary against this forest up here. The smell is very different to how it was down there in the built up areas. This smell from this forest will heavily influence these tea bushes. These bushes, as you can see, there's no two leaves in a bud on top. They've been freshly plucked probably about, I'd say, three days ago, two days ago. And this is what you're always looking to pluck. This is what we call good tea. Now, this is a very immature, young two leaves in a bud. If you leave it for a few more days, it'll be up to here. But because the climate here is so dry at the moment, it's very, very dry, very hot. We're into season. There's a lot of wilting happening. There's a lot of wilting on these tea bushes. Um, so maybe in a few days or weeks, we need to have a little downpour uh, just to give the bush a little, a little more life because otherwise it will die out if this type of hot weather carries on. But I don't want it to rain because if it rains now, that will mean the end of the quality season. And, uh, and we still need to buy a lot more tea. So we want to stay dry and for these conditions to continue because when it's dry, you're gonna get good quality tea coming up. So these are some very young bushes up here. This is the forest, this is having there's a eucalyptus smell coming out of this side. Very fresh, minty, menthol smell that comes out of here. That'll heavily influence this, these bushes that touch the boundary and right down into the division as well. I mean, just look how beautiful it is up here. Just look how beautiful it is up here. You've got Three Father up there. You've got the Upper Glen bungalow just over here. And then if I pan it around, you can see the Mausakale Dam around this side. And of course, the world's finest tea.